from beautiful downtown Prestonburg, Kentucky, it's the MWO Podcast on Patreon. Hosted by one half of the ballers and shot callers of Horror Talk Radio, a man who's been creepy as fuck since 1980, it's the creepy Kentuckian. Take it away, Bulls. Howdy, folks, and welcome to the MWO Podcast here on Patreon. I am the creepy Kentuckian. I'm the captain. Flashback weekend was last weekend, Steve. Mm. One big thing, I, they did a they did a Friday the 13th Part 5 reunion at that show. Ooh. I commend them for doing that. I mean, they had uh, Ethel and Junior, Melanie Kinnaman was there, Tom Morga. Um, I believe Debbie Sue Voorhees was there. Ooh. Woo, Debbie Sue, baby. So, Flashback Weekend's one of the best horror conventions going. I mean, there's no doubt. They've been around forever. Chicago, it's kind of a Chicago show. So it's mm. not a not a knock on them at all. I, de- I definitely didn't want to didn't want to get started down down that rabbit hole, Steve. But mm. one thing that came out, this was the first show that supposedly the Screen U station wagon oh, yeah. from John Carpenter's Halloween, nineteen seventy eight, made its convention debut. Now this. Mm. You see photos of this fucking thing. <laughs> it's in pristine condition. Mm-hmm. Okay. It looks almost better than it did in the movie. It <sighs> looks almost like it's too good to be true. Mm. Right? So you can argue that all day long. I don't know. If it, if I was a betting man, I, I would say it's the same model, same year of the station wagon and all that. Who would have had the foresight to hang on to a fucking station wagon? Right? 40, was it 43 years ago? Saying, okay, in 2021, 43 years from now, we're going to fucking, people are going to want to take a picture with this thing. I just don't believe that. I don't know about you. Maybe it's the original bumper and the rest of it's new or the chassis. <laughs> they they found the, the sticker that went on the side of it. It was like a magnet. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's got the original <laughs> sticker. So, yeah, I don't know. It's so that's one uh, thing. Crazy. I mean, you, yeah, I mean, you've got you've got people that supposedly have the screen used Christine car, which is also questionable. I mean, hell, that is a fucking you know anybody could have taken that model car and just restored it, and hey, it's Christine. I don't care. It looks like Christine. It's the car. Christine was the star of fucking Christine. It's not a. It's not a, a station wagon. That's like gray. It's like a yeah. red station wagon, which nice is not, looking car Chevrolet. Yeah, station wagon. It did not have any sort of fucking like major purpose in the movie either. Really, <laughs> I mean Michael Myers drives the station wa- wagon in like one or two scenes that you see. So. Yeah, and Anthony's bringing this up here. This is another aspect of it, too. I mean, the fact that they had two different price structures for this station wagon. $40 mm-hmm. if you wanted to just stand up with the station wagon and take your photo. Did you hear about this, Steve? Yeah, I heard about the 40 bucks. What's the other one? If you want to sit in the vehicle. <laughs> okay, and it's a major honor and privilege to yeah. do that. It's going to cost you $60. Wow. Yeah. Who the fuck did that, really? Like, I would. I can understand 20 bucks, take your photo with the car, acting like you're driving a car, acting like a car's running over you, having a friend dressed up as my. Do whatever the fuck you want to for $20. That'd be fine. I wouldn't even care. We would have never brought this up on the show. Yeah, but. uh... That's fucking stupid. 40 it's, bucks. And then if you want to sit in the fucking thing, it's a station wagon from 1978. <laughs> they wouldn't bucks. even let you do that with Christine, which I guess you really wouldn't want to do it, but they wouldn't let anybody inside of it. So it's kind of weird that they would let you uh, random people sit in it. Yeah. Am it's I weird. imagining things? Or was Christine was $10, I'm thinking. Yeah, absolutely. And you got like a, you got an autograph from Christine. It was like the tire prints with a picture of her. And you got so, a cool backdrop, cool, like they yeah. would turn the headlights on for you when you take the photo. Oh, I don't know if they did that for me, but I didn't ask, so I didn't know. It's pretty neat. 
pretty. I got all the way up in there. <laughs> Up. I just don't get the price. I know everything has went up, so I would I would give it to him for twenty bucks. I would understand. When we paid ten dollars, it was what? It was probably almost ten years ago. Yeah. So things have went up, but man, what the fuck? I don't know who. who hopefully, they'll learn their lesson, and whenever or if ever the vehicle makes another convention appearance, it'll be. It's not coming more. to Scarefest. No, not that I know of. It may. <laughs> Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only $1.